Yo guys, welcome to another video by f 5 at Cyan Labs. Now this is going to be a bit of a joint effort between me and Talk and Tech. Uh, he's going to cover the in-car parts and I will cover the Windows side of things. Let's begin. Over to Talk and Tech. This video is to show you how to update to Sync 3.4 in your 2016-2017 uh, Ford Focus, Ford Mustang, Ford Fusion. The information comes from Cyan Lab, the website Cyan Lab. I will have the link in the description and I will go to the website to show you everything you need to download. It is super easy to do. I got it on here. I'm recording this intro after the fact. Uh, I got it on here. It was super easy to do. Oh, and make sure to actually go to the link and actually read the link. Uh, there are parts of the link that I did not, uh, there was a step zero I did not do on my own. And there's a step that, that step zero is, um, I did not show you in the video. But step zero on the website, I do advise you to do just in case. I did not do it, um, but I do advise you to do it. Okay, so you may have seen a previous version of this guide. Uh, some of the requirements have changed. Um, you can still technically do it with the old method, but it's just a lot more complicated for no reason. Um, so the main requirement is you have a sync free unit. So it looks like the one on the left here, not the one on the right. And also that you have a USB drive of at least 32 gigabytes for navigation or 16, potentially eight gigabytes for non-navigation versions. Um, so as long as you've got those requirements, let's jump in with the rest of the guide. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the link in the description, which will take you to this page here. Simply download our Ford Sync update downloader. Now, if for some reason you don't want to do that and you'd rather do it manually, uh, another video will be coming shortly on the manual method. But for this video, click this link here. On the right hand side, click download, make sure to get the latest version. Okay, and just next, 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 finish that. Okay, and here we will have our Ford Sync update downloader tool. So by default, it downloads to the Ford Sync downloader folder in your downloads directory. That's fine, unless you have any reason not to put it there. Um, if you want to change it, just click the dots and pick a new path. Uh, and then simply, all we literally need to do is select what version we're on. So as long as you're not on 3.4 uh, already, you just need to leave that at default of any other Sync version. Select your region, so for me it's EU. Uh, in the interest of speed, I will skip the navigation, but make sure to tick navigation if you have a navigation variant. Uh, the region, um, so we have a, a list here which does allow you to change the region. However, you may need to make some additional changes with Forscan in order to make that work. It's not something that Labs supports, so in order to get support from us, make sure to select the same region as the region that your unit came from. Simply click version and select the version you want. So the newest one is 20136. Um, it works fine. There's a, a couple of bugs. One is this one here. Um, so when using a USB drive for media playback, uh, sometimes when you skip track, it will skip the radio rather than the USB track and therefore put you on radio rather than USB. Um, if you use Android Auto or CarPlay or any other non-USB related audio playback, then that's not an issue. So we download that. We'll select the map version. So again, in the interest of speed, I will do no maps, but make sure to select maps if you want maps. Even if you have maps already, you must select maps. So no maps, and then make sure to plug a USB drive in and it should pop up here. If it's not showing, just do a reload devices and it will pop straight back up there. Simply click start and that's it basically. So the process will start downloading. Um, the files are now downloading here as you can see, there's four files to download. Uh, it's gonna take a little while on my internet because it's not exactly the fastest. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pause the video and we'll jump back once the download is complete. Okay, so it's just copying the files across. It's got four files left to copy. So basically it will download the files from the Ford servers directly. Once it's downloaded the files from the Ford servers, it will start copying them to the USB drive. Okay, so once the process is complete, you will be given this message box right here. Uh, if you press yes, it will take you to our website that gives you further information. Um, 
as this video already covers that, just click no. You can see here it says all files downloaded and copied to the USB drive successfully. So at this point you can close the program down. You can safely remove your USB. And then remove the USB drive from the computer and back over to Talk and Tech for the in-car part. I'm going to go ahead and stick it inside of the car first. Start it up. Now it says updating system software and then it should go black and restart the system. There we go. Okay, this is the process of it. It is now repartitioning the EMMC and it's gonna take a minute We'll see exactly how long it takes. And then uh, from there, we're gonna have our Sync 3.4. I'm super excited. So this is just a mid update check. Uh, it is still updating here. I'm still sitting in the car. It does have a timer at the bottom. Um, so we're at five minutes now. We'll see what the timer is uh, when I finish. I honestly might just go out and drive because I'm sitting in the car with the car on, why not go drive? We are now at the extracting map package and it does cycle through a different wallpaper type thing. So. Let's bring this down just a little bit and you can see it shows a mustang then it shows the mustang emblem and then it will show the ford emblem and it just kind of cycles back and forth between uh those three things okay so i went for a quick little drive because i'm just sitting here in the car so why not go for a drive you can drive while this is updating uh it did uh it, it, it at the bottom it said updating voice package now it says updating voice nav nav package and um i'm at 29 minutes as of right now so that's where i'm at now let's see what happened and now we are extracting grace notes package uh grace notes is what you see when you use your bluetooth and you're on from your phone and it shows your album art on here or if you use have a cd in it shows your album art on here that's grace notes it is now extracting the grace notes package and we are at 36 minutes and as you can see here it says update successful please remove usb we, we the total elapsed time was about 37 minutes and i'm gonna say about 40 seconds had to pop the camera up real quick to get it. So, uh, what the heck was that? We are completely finished. Update was successful. Please remove USB. And uh, that's it, baby. It's over with. Let's see. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the vehicle off. Open the door up and close it. I'm let the car sit just for a little bit. Give it a good 15 to 20 seconds. Now, here is the moment of truth. Sync 3.4, baby. Ooh, it's showing a Mustang logo, okay. And we now have Sync 3.4, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna go ahead and confirm those as on. MS system updates on, Sync Diagnostics on. We go check for updates periodically. We already know how that works. And boom. Sync and check for updates when it connected to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi network really quick. The design of this is just so beautiful to me. I, I really enjoy the blue hue that's down here. This this blue is so nice, and and the white background, the, the contrast of the white background with the blue, it's such a nice touch. I really really like the way this looks compared to originally. Uh, let's blur that out really quick. Okay, we'll go here. Oh my gosh, it just looks so nice. This is Sync 3.4. Um, if you don't know, Sync 4, it's kind of based on Sync 4, Sync 4 as far as the looks goes. In, in this vehicle, it's a 2016. It was not actually made for this update. So that's why, uh, you know, you have to go through these hoops to get it. it is, wow, it looks so much nicer. So one thing that really uh, catches my eye down here is climate. I will check that in just a second because I'm really interested to see climate because climate was not an option on here before. And when I actually went into the as built setting in Forescan to apply it, it didn't work it messed up my whole system and it didn't like work and i had to go back and redo it so i'm interested to see how that looks let's try climate climate is off and the climate actually works <laughs> it didn't work before i'm so excited let's me pick defrost here here and it shows max there dual on or not i like the fact that dual is an option 
So this is just a little piece of the update. I will have a full video of this update and review it and talk about it and how much I like it or if I don't like it. At the moment, I really like it. Um, but that's just a quick little uh, showing you what it looks like. Uh, I'll go in depth more in a future video. And, and when I say future video, I mean, it's, it's coming out really soon. Trust me. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm gone. Okay, so there you have it. Sync 3.4 installed. Thanks again to Talk and Tech for letting me use that video. Any questions, leave a comment below on my website, cyanlabs.net, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.